In this video, we're going to see how to split a large product group into smaller product groups. Here we've got a four-dimensional product group, in other words, it's got four options, and there are 120 separate variants within this product group. We've got a couple of fits, a number of waist sizes, a couple of styles, husky and wolf, and then a number of colors. What I'd like to do is actually split this into two product groups of 60 items each. So what we're going to do is remove the fits and promote those into the product name. And because then we'll have two different product names, one with slim and one with baggy, that'll be forming two different product groups. The first thing you need to do is export these products so that you've got a reference of product ID and the existing size and colors. So let's view these in a list. And by default, we only see 50, so click Show All, which shows all 120, and then Export to Excel. Here are the products we've just exported. And when you export the product list, you actually get more columns than you need. All we need to import to update these products is the product ID, the name, because we're going to change the name, and then the relevant options for this particular product, the color, the waist size, the style, and the fit. Now what we need to do is update the name so that it contains either baggy or slim. What I'm doing here is I'm using the concatenate function to concatenate the name and the fit. So we've now got an updated name column, and we no longer need the fit. This file is now ready to re-import. Anytime you import an Excel file, you need to create a data map. So go to Setup, Data Slash Import, and then Import Products. Let's create a new one. Call it anything you like. And then what we're going to do is we're actually just going to bring in the columns that we need. So Product ID is what we're going to use to identify the item. We're going to update the name, and then we need the options. And that's color, waist size, and style. Color, waist size, and style. And then save. Just before we import the file that's going to update this product group, what we need to do is remove fit from the grid. So open the variant edit screen, and then remove the option that you want. You can see now that the variants that we have in the system have been unassigned from their positions in the grid. So go to your data map import screen, tick to import values, don't skip items not found, and click to update only. Find your file, and then import it. Once you've imported the file successfully, you can see that all the existing products have been updated. So let's do a product search for these items where we can see that we've still got 120 different variants, but now we've got the fit on the end of the name, and only three options. So here we've got the baggy with color, size, and style. And if I scroll down, you'll see the second product group, the slim ones, which again have got the color, the size, and the style. Let's drop into one of these product groups to edit the variants, where we can see that there are now only 60 products in this group. So to recap, here's the process I've just shown you. First of all, export the product group to Excel, then prepare your Excel file, which means moving one of your option columns into the product name, and by having two different product names in the spreadsheet, you'll create two different product groups. Of course, you could have three or four, and so on. Remove any option columns that you don't need, and then remove the option from the product grid on the variant edit screen in BrightPearl. That disassociates every variant from its options, and then import the file to reassign them correctly. This technique can also be used to change an option on a product group. So maybe you wanted to change size to waist size. That's much easier to do by importing a spreadsheet. And that takes us to the end of the video, where we see how to split one product group into smaller product groups.